Alright, welcome. Today, we have this Bellimo Actuator LF24-SR US, assembled in US. I got my hands on this from my dad who works on HVAC, and this was one of the air conditioning actuators. So. This one um, was broken, it had wrong signal or something. And the five year warranty started in 2019. It's 2024 right now. It was just one month off. <laughs> Two or a single month before, if I got saturated, I wouldn't be able to take it apart. Well, anyways, let's get started. I'm pretty sure there should be some screws under this cover. I hope this thing isn't too hard to take apart or impossible. Because then that would suck. Okay, so I can tell there's some rivet like things in here. That's the gearbox holding like these pins. There would be gears there, and that would turn this thing. See if there's a brake release. Okay, never mind. It's probably just really tight. Stick. I want to keep this just in case I need some information. Now on this front side. I'll just pause it. All right. I got the sticker off using a knife. Yes, that's how bad the sticker was. Here's it here. I don't want to read all the information. Because that would be boring. No. Obviously, this thing doesn't feel like it's coming off. So I'm going to try removing this screw here. See if that'll do anything. So I can't turn that at all. If I can move this thing, so it's weird. And this thing here, I can move. That doesn't mean anything. Is this thing? Pause until I find something that'll probably help me. Alright, so I did find the reason this thing is not open up. Or there's no screws. Well, first of all, I took off this cable connector. You can see the wires in there. I can't see the circuit panel. Probably need some more light. I think I'm just gonna cut these wires. So because I mean I'm not planning on testing this thing. Actually, I can see the board in there. It looks like some loose connections. And I think I can see the mode. So that's cool. Anyways, there are basically these pins that are very angry because they're completely through. And they're like squished. I don't know what you say for that. But they're squished to hold this board, hold the middle plate together. So. Do some, you could say extreme work and remove those the hard way. Okay, there's 
some rather strenuous activities, I've managed to get the actuator open. And, yeah, let's just say it took some time. Alright, so now we're here. We got that star bit. So I should have something with this. There's the board. Uh, circuit. Um, it's a potentiometer used for commu commutation. It's two big capacitors, a smaller capacitor. Cable connections. Big resistor switch. Ooh, rectifier. That's not a rectifier. Never mind. Looks like it had four pins. A bunch of capacitors. Some processor. These things. I don't know. And yeah. Keep a connector. Uh, I do want to keep this intact. Okay, so let's just put that off a minute. Now we're down to this. So that would be... I don't know what that is. There's a little motor here. Can't pull that out just yet. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I know what this is. This is the... Is this a spring? Let's zoom out. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's a spring. It's cool. Right, we got the gear mechanism. I don't want to mess with that. There's just too much grease and stuff. I could use some gears from it. Alright, now we have the motor. Well, I might have to just cut this thing apart. i just pause this again. Okay. So I cut the thing apart. I managed to remove the little motor. I was kind of disappointed. I was expecting it to be a little bigger. But this is completely fine. I mean, it's a motor. Let's spin it. I kind of see the coils. Maybe she will lift the rotor. It's going to be hard to see. Coils are orange, and the stators, you know, the steel sheets, steel laminations with the green insulation. And you got this big prong. You use wires because it's so close; they just want to right to the board. You can basically find these in like standard, at least in most DVD players. The other ones use like boring old brushed motors. I mean, they're still motors, of course. That's cool. I should probably test this soon. Well, that's about it. I uh, hope you like this video. I'll just move this over here. I'm working on another project that involves this RC submarine here. It's not really electrical, as I can't even access any electronics, it's mostly just these batteries. But yeah, that would be cool, I'll probably document that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this short video. For me, it's like shorts, short. It's only my second video. Actually no, it's my third teardown video, alright.